Good evening, everyone. Welcome to this evening's screening. It's good to see the cinephiles in the house. Um, my name is Pierce Handling, Director and CEO of TIFF. My distinct pleasure to welcome you to tonight's screening of Shame, introduced by legendary actor and director Lee Volman. To begin, I'd like to acknowledge that tonight's event is taking place on the treaty territory of the Mississaugas of New Credit and the traditional territory of the Haudenosaunee, the Anishinaabe, and the Huron-Wendat. We're very grateful to have the opportunity to work in the community. On behalf of TIFF, I'd like to thank our lead sponsor, Bell. Our major sponsors, RBC, L'Oreal Paris, and Visa. Our major public supporters, the Government of Ontario, Telefilm Canada, and the City of Toronto. And our Cinematech supporters, Ontario Creates and the Canada Council for the Arts. Also, thank you to people like you, our donors and members, for supporting our charitable mission of bringing the power of film to life 365 days a year. So we're running two ser series this fall. Um, retrospective of Lee's film, it's called Face to Face, which I think shows all of her films, her five films, as well as the Bergman 100 a centenary program that celebrates the Swedish master's work expansive retrospective of his film and television work, and this is obviously a part of that program. So uh, please join us for many of the screenings are going to happen over the coming weeks. It really is an incredible opportunity to see this work. Now, Shame was the third film that Leif made with uh, Ingmar Bergman after Persona and Hour of the Wolf. It appeared in 1968, and I think it's very, very much a film of that moment for those of us who remember you know, the 60s and, of course, 1968. Um, and I think you'll probably feel that in the background in all kinds of ways. But here to give you a more fulsome introduction to the film, someone who um, we've had, I've just had the pleasure of interviewing for about two hours on stage, Lee Volman. Hello. I'm... Uh I'm very happy to uh, introduce this movie because it shows that what they said about Ingmar Bergman at that time, that he was not socially engaged, is all wrong. He maybe didn't have the money to make a big war film. He maybe didn't have the way of uh, showing airplanes and tanks and things like they did at that time with American movies. But he did what was tremendously important. He, he showed what war, the dealings before war, the lies and everything, the dealings during the war and the dealings when the war is over, does something to uh, human beings. He often wrote that uh, the sin of the human nature is that we have indifference in us and, and we have coldness and selfishness. And this movie shows us that. And this is something that we do see today also. I would like you, when you see the beginning of the movie, to think about this is not someone with an economy to show what war looks like. But this is written by someone who I'm reminded walking through a refugee camp, a little boy. And he said, sometimes I cry, but only when it rains, so the other children will not see it. It's a true story. And I think that is how Ingmar wanted to show what a war was, but he could only do it when somehow it was raining. I think it is one of the most important movies I've been in. At the time, I was looking at it very personally. I. I was thinking, once I was in front of a burning house, and I had quarreled with Ingmar that morning, and he said, closer to the fire, leave closer to the fire. And all I could think about is, aha, uh -huh, that's because he's angry at me. 
I'm ashamed of that today. Another time towards the end of the movie when these people are doing like most refugees are faced with finding a terrible way to get away from the, the war, the ocean. And uh, I was lying in a lifeboat, a strange boat with Max von Sydow and we didn't have so very much clothes on. And Ingmar was on a bridge standing over us with big woolen hat on and lots of clothes. It was very cold, very cold. And what I was thinking then, and I'm really sorry for that too, when he said, well, I think you in the boat, you have to be there during lunch and you'll get sandwiches. And I was thinking, he's angry at me again. I'm not even allowed to come up and I'm freezing and there he is with his woolen cap up. And I'm, I'm sorry for that too, because he has made an incredibly true story in which is the horror of war. It makes beautiful people warm people, in love people, into cold people, weak people, indifferent people. And that's why I think this movie is great and that he at the time was told, you know nothing about what is happening in the world. He made, like a lot of great men and women have done, he made a movie foreseeing what would happen later in Europe and other places. I'm happy you are here. I'm happy you're going to see this movie. And I'm also tremendously happy for having been here and for what has happened to me and for Pierce's lovely way of welcoming a guest and making me leave Toronto and feel what a good memory in my life and thank you for being part of it. Thank you.